Letter from the Summer House by Oksana Zabushko Translated by Verlana Takats and Wanda Phipps Hello, dear. After the recent acid rains, the garden has turned rust-colored again. The blackened cucumber vines stick out of the ground like scorched wire. I am not sure that the orchard will be better this year. I thought if I just turned up the dirt, you know, cleaned it up. But to tell you the truth, I'm afraid to walk between the trees. With every step I feel I'm closer to the spot where a rotting carcass lies in the tall grass, swarming with worms, grinning in the sun. I'm afraid of strange sounds. The day before yesterday in the thicket there were curious cries like meowing or the monotonous creaking of a tree or the suppressed cackling of geese. Always on the same note. Do you remember the dry elm, the one hit by lightning last year that now looks like a giant burned bone? Well, sometimes I think that it lords over the garden, and the trees we planted are slowly losing their minds like mad dogs. I don't know how mad trees behave. Maybe they deroot like trains derail. Anyway, now I keep an axe near my bed at night, just in case. The butterflies are mating, so there's still hope we'll have caterpillars. The neighbor across the road gave birth to a boy. Well, overdue, they say. Had teeth and hair already. Maybe it's a mutant. Because yesterday, when he was only nine days old, he cried out, Extinguish the sky! Then fell silent and hasn't said a word since. Otherwise, he's well. That's our news. If you find time to get away for the weekend, bring me something to read in a language I haven't learned yet. I've exhausted the ones I know. Kisses. Love. Oh. Letter from the Summer House by Oksana Zabushko Translated by Verlana Tkatz and Wanda Phipps The, uh, links to assist the ongoing humanitarian effort in Ukraine are where they live in the description and will remain there till this nightmare is over. So please use them, visit them, help out if you can, or find some cause to champion yourself. All right, I will. See you tomorrow.